Hi, this is Stephanie Miller from The Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from my show on Political Voices Network. Really? I, I have the press Do release. tell, please, yes. Fox News Media the and- message from The Guardian um, confirmed Tucker is out. Yep. And Dylan Byers is legit, legit. Okay. <laughs> I, and yeah. uh, according to a uh, press release from Fox News, uh, Fox News Media and Tucker Carlson have agreed to part ways. We thank him for his service to the network as host and prior to that a contributor. Mr. Carlson's last program was Friday, April 21st. Fox Ooh. News Tonight will air live 8 p.m. Eastern starting this evening as interim show uh, helmed by rotating Fox News personalities until a new host is named. Ooh, ooh. Okay, let's just take a moment. Uh, oh, it's so wow. Good. We actually had breaking news during our oh, program. Oh, God, it's so and good. It actually uh, is breaking news as opposed to what we thought was fake on Twitter. Right. <laughs> Just, oh, my God. And something on Twitter is, was correct. That is Brian Stelter. Okay. Oh, Allison, let's please. Would you like to have a cigarette with me? I don't even smoke. But let's just share this afterglow let's together. Start. Let's just let's snuggle. Start no. smoking right now and cuddle and wow. I'll cut your hair and we can. <laughs> so and and it's done. Done. Like the April twenty first. Yep. Wow. Was Earth Day was wow. the last day. Yeah. What is your initial reaction? What do you think this is about? Dominion, Smartmatic, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> this is about the nine upcoming trillions of dollars yeah. in lost. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I mean, this it, is a wow. It could also be his behavior after the settlement because he right. was really, you know, just sticking it, uh, yeah, to all of those rumors. You yeah, know? he was. He was like yeah, amplifying I mean, he those made rumors. It clear, he's going to just continue to yeah. lie yeah. about everything. You know, I mean, I, Allison, what do you think? It's that's uh, it is quite stunning because I was saying there were rumors that oh like they're gonna fire Bartiromo or Judge Janine or Judge Janine's so drunk she doesn't even know. How, she Howard is. Kurtz just uh, confirmed it on Twitter. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. Is yeah. She's still a part. The, so Tucker's out, but right. Fox is sticking around. I don't know. That's what I mean. There were rumors, and then people were like, "That's not true. That's a rumor." You know, just obviously in the wake of Dominion, there's been a lot of you know. Fox rumors floating yeah. around, but wow, this seems to be conform- confirmed by multiple sources. Yeah, I'm seeing it all over the place now. It's and he's over. the big fish. I mean, right, yeah. Allison? It's like, that's what, remember, he's the number one Abby, rated show. Abby, Abby Grossman's um, suit was about they were going to make Maria Barromo take the fall, you know, for, for yeah. this whole thing. Him and, him and Hannity are, are the one-two punch, right? Right. But I mean, the fact that the, th- they I... think the whole settlement really was to mm-hmm. avoid having their main anchors have to say under oath, yes, we lied on purpose, you know, the Tucker, the names, right? Tucker and Hannity and Ingram. Boy, Laura Ingram's probably a little nervous this morning. Ah! Ah! <laughs> She's got a voice for television. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just go back and radio. Okay. Wow, Allison. Wow. Yeah. I just, am, I'm still in, rolling around in the, rolling in the deep. I wonder. Can we play? Let's play some party in the USA yeah. or something. I feel like dancing. <laughs> Who, whose job was it to tell him? All right, we're just giddy over fucked up yeah. Tucker Carlson being. We oh, are. I almost said Tucker Carlson. I'm uh, sorry, well, Chris. Oh, I apologize. It's, she started the swearing. It's that kind of day, and it, you're right. It's it's contagious. Yes. Sorry, I apologize. <laughs> yeah, this is stunning, stunning stuff. I I uh, we we shall see. Oh, and other liar news, by the way. I just want to get to this. I kind of love, as irritating as they are, that Marjorie Taylor Greene and George Santos are becoming the face of the Republican Party, mm-hmm. right? So invest- as investigators ramp up into in, uh, inquiries into the sketchy financial transactions conducted by George Santos' campaign in 2020, uh, his former bookkeeper may become the focus of an additional probe. It's weird when crooks hire cookie bookkeepers and then right. get crooked. Oh, yeah. somebody did a side-by-side picture of George Santos and the bookkeeper. Yeah. And it might just be George Santos in drag. Oh, oh is it? Is it Katara? <laughs> it looks a lot like Katara. Bookkeeper like Nancy. Katara's mom. Oh, really? Nancy Marks has a long history of working for Republican candidates, including uh, Lee Zeldin, Republican of New York. And questions have been raised about some of her practices, including whether she has been absconding with funds. I don't, I don't, it's just, it is a big bag of rats. I don't know who to root for. They're all just equally awful. It's just when the grifters get grifted, I don't know what to say. But I think back to the polling thing, I think a lot of these Oh, yes, I'm sorry. We got excited about Tucker Carlson. I wanted to get your take on everybody going with polling and the people don't want Joe Biden to run, blah, blah, blah. Do you remember when we found out that um, uh, Michael Cohen was rigging polls for Donald Trump and he actually paid somebody with 
ten thousand dollars cash in a Walmart bag and a boxing glove. Like, do you, I remember these? Oh, stories. I do remember that story. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You have so a photographic me. memory for weird details like that. But I, thank you. Yes, well, those are the good I re- ones. Now I remember. <laughs> oh, and uh, by the way, my very good friend and amazing woman Rachel Vinman has tweeted: "He tucked around and found out." Yay! Yay. She wins Twitter. Yay. Uh, and Cliff, I verify that funny. And Cliff Schechter points out that uh, Tucker has now been fired by Fox News, MSNBC, CNN, and PBS. Yeah. <laughs> Hooray. And the, it wasn't it fish sticks or the CIA or something. I can't remember. She said sticks. Sticks. S- sticks. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Now I'm just nervous. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, yeah, this is, I, I'm still trying to soak in what this means and if it's Dominion related or Smartmatic related or, yeah, and why just him, right? Yeah. Just wondering. Unless there's more coming, unless right. this is one of a few. Yeah. All right. So we were talking about uh, polling 18 months out. Mm-hmm. Everybody's panicking and freaking out. And uh, I just, I mean, you do have to go back historically, Allison. They're always wrong. The polls this yeah. far out, they're always wrong. I don't know why everybody now is like, oh, my God, people think he's too old. You know, I mean, it's it, what you give me your take on all of it. Yeah. I mean, let's talk about the red wave that was predicted in 2022, yeah. and how that never happened. Let's talk mm-hmm. about Adam Frisch and Lauren Boebert coming within a few hundred votes of each other when Nate Silver gave him a two percent chance of winning. Uh, I don't listen to polls because the polls are wrong. And even in, in, you know, in 2016, the polls were wrong. We found out the bad way. Um, and so, yeah, I don't, I really don't listen to polls, especially this far out from an election. But even yeah. when we get closer, they were all just consistently wrong. Um, I mean, polls are people who get called on landlines yeah. and, you know, like, no, just no. We yeah. need a new polling system, or we just need to stop. And, right. But although yeah. I, you know, I'm not too. I'm not too. Uh, I, I like it though when everyone's like totally uncertain and just has to vote. Yeah, and I just, I again, I think they have underestimated women, young people. Um, give me one more. Uh, Nancy Pelosi yesterday. They're anti-governance. They're anti-science. So some of the challenges that we have faced, health-wise, with the pandemic climate issues where science tells us there's certain things we need to do and and governance says okay let's make uh protections to do that two no's do not make a yes for them right they're against science and they're against governance so this continues this is who they are and who better than uh noted uh, lady part aficionado lindsey graham to tell the little lady people what they might have or what they might not have. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah. I, yeah, I, I think what the court's going to do is send it back uh, for a little more evaluation. But the issue is, was the drug uh, lawfully uh, approved? Uh, did the FDA follow its own procedures? The chemical abortion safe? So those issues will be decided by the court. The idea of mailing the drug, uh, uh, sending the drug through the mail, runs into a statute called the Comstack Act, the Supreme Court will sort all this out here in the coming months, and I'll live with whatever decision they make. Allison Gill just did a face palm. Would you like uh-huh. to explain, or do you want Amy Klobuchar to? Go ahead. First of all, it's not the Comstock <laughs> Act. It's the Comstock Act. Right. But really, the old we can't mail sex toys in the mail law? Yeah. Um, My dildo says kind of... different. What? <laughs> yeah, I know. What? Hey, six dildos <laughs> only in Texas. That's what? right. <laughs> but, like, just... <laughs> I'm wow. Like if you talking about bringing us back centuries, yeah. like yeah. to rely on that law, it's pretty, pretty intense. And, and, also, and I, I hate when they call it chemical abortion to scare you. Can I just say, uh, I, who is that smarmy mother from New Hampshire? What's it, who was on Meet the Press? Sununu. Sununu. Uh, yeah. He's he the just, worst. are they really still trying this? This is a state's rights issue. Hasn't, haven't they proved that that's, that that is not what they're trying to ban it nationwide? This has never been a state. They, they never wanted to see. He's just, ugh, that snor- smarmy smile and just like he's a different kind of Republican and Chuck Todd. He's like, just see you, bet you, buddy. See you next week. Like, he's just, ah. <laughs> just all Republicans make I me vomit. I think I'm going to buy but they do. They, they, you know, he's just someone trying to put another, you know, smiley veneer on this. Like, oh, and it's just a state's right. Would they have absolutely disproven that, haven't they? That this is that this they wanted this to be about states' rights. They want to oh, yeah. ban it nationwide for everybody. Totally, yeah. Just inconsistencies after inconsistencies. Alito saying that he didn't want to block it because they didn't meet the criteria for a stay when the original ruling doesn't even meet the criteria for standing. Yeah. Like. 
just stop with yeah. your with your they have a, a desired outcome and they try to bend the law to get to it that's all you were gonna say bull and i thank you for not i got it was right there i saw it Actually, coming. chris and thanks back, you for that yeah. yeah okay my back thanks you for not having to bend underneath the uh the console here. it won't uh, happen again chris. senator <laughs> senator klobuchar with the assist for ag here we go and i think what you see when senator graham is bringing up bills from what the comstack act that is literally passed dana in 1873 that is 10 years before the yellowstone prequel okay that is at a time when health care, when you were treated for pneumonia through bloodletting, it is back in the ages of the Pony Express. The American people do not want to go backwards. And what I heard today is that Republican leaders in Washington aren't backing down on their opposition to reproductive freedom. They are doubling down. Okay. I love that she said that because yeah. that was my first thing. This was back in the times when doctors were like, hey, you got ghosts in your blood. You should do cocaine about it. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> is that is that an exact quote from a pre-Yellowstone yeah. doctor? Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. I, I, you, have your, you have your period? Here's a leech. That was um, an episode of Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman, and it was really good. Okay. <laughs> um, can I just skip to 13? Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. If I have to hear this one more time, the Democrats demand abortion till the moment of birth. No! Oh, my God. Okay. For the record, Roe went up to viability, but I just want to button this up. The no, man that you're, no, the man no. Quit covering for these guys. No, no, no. Your media, you keep covering for these guys. They introduced legislation that allowed abortion on demand with taxpayer funded. Oh, uh, well, you paying for it, the taxpayer up to the moment yeah. of birth. That was their position in Washington. That's the law they want That's to illegal. pass. Yeah. And nobody in your okay. business will talk about it. It's barbaric. Senator, okay. Senator uh, I'm not covering for anybody, yeah, and you yeah. know that. And when I have Democrats on, and I've had okay. Democrats well, just on, report, I've asked, report the facts. I have asked many, all of them, about their position on where, uh, where they believe this issue should be. Okay, they know that they're losing on this issue massively. That 60% of Americans are uh, about thereabouts, you know, think abortion should be legal. Uh, they know that that is illegal. No Democrat wants abortion till the moment of birth. Donald Trump does that whole rant about after birth. Like, yeah. oh, just uh, then they just decide to kill the baby after it's born. It's like they're just running on lies again. Republicans say they won't cut Social Security, Medicare, or Medicaid. But can honest, hard-working, middle-class Americans really believe what these politicians say? Republicans said they wouldn't overturn Roe v. Wade. Here's what Supreme Court Justices Gorsuch, Kavanaugh, and Coney Barrett said during their Senate confirmation hearings. Roe v. Wade is a precedent of the United States Supreme Court. A good judge will consider it as precedent of the United States Supreme Court. Roe v. Wade. It's settled as a precedent of the Supreme Court. Roe is not a super precedent, but that doesn't mean that Roe should be overruled. Well, we saw how that turned out. They played us for fools. Tell your elected officials to keep their hands off of our Social Security and health care benefits. 